One time this woman made me this clock, Cowboys and Angels clock, but she spelled angels wrong, so it was Cowboys and Angles. <laughs> and I loved it even more. Hey MTV, I'm Jessie Merck, and these are my tour journals. My favorite thing about touring, I mean, obviously getting to sing the songs with all the fans. That's surreal every time it happens. And on the low, my other thing, favorite thing about touring is probably going to different cafes in every city. I love cafes. I like specialty lattes. So that, and then I get a chocolate croissant everywhere I go. This past tour, I was in my hotel, and I was walking upstairs, and this lady at the elevator turns to me, and she's like, she just points to her arm, and she has one of my songs tattooed on her arm, it was Pray. She was like, my daughter's upstairs, like we're coming to your show tonight. We surprised her daughter. It really just sat with me how when they traveled, they like came across the country or something to come to the show. It was just really surreal. My pre-show routine, it changes. I sit down, I do my makeup, and that takes up most of the time. <laughs> and then I take pictures. I turn on some hype music. I gotta get the energy up and that's it. This woman made me this clock. She somehow did like the electrical wiring to make it light up and it, like, it ticked. It was like a ticking clock and it was Cowboys and Angels clock. But she spelled angels wrong, so it was Cowboys and Angles. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it even more. It's a great clock, but that one was really crazy. I'm like, you're an engineer, dude. I had this kid named Henry open for me on tour and we did this thing every night where he would come out and sing my song Texas with me as a duet and I really enjoyed it every night. I'm, I'm a big fan of his and it was just always so much fun. So probably him. My dream collab on tour probably stands with my dream collab in general and that's Lil Baby. It's always been my like number one. Him and Drake are top of the list I'd say. Mm, there's a couple. I was just in Australia, you know, and I'm legal to drink there so I can do shit like that on stage. So I did a bunch of shoeies out of someone's real shoe, which I know, but I did it and I liked it, it was good. And then I, I played Flip Cup on stage. That was fun, it was like a segment in every show. And if I lost, I had to do more shoeies. <laughs> I'd have to go with Paris, I've always wanted to go since I was little. I used to have an obsession with it. My room was like Paris themed, everything. I, I just needed it to be Paris. So I'm excited to see that for the first time. A lot of little girls would show up and have like DIY'd their own snoot. And for those of you that don't know, a snoot is a sneaker and a boot together snoot. They like take tennis shoes and sew on a cowboy boot to the top and make a snoot. I know people like put in the work. I saw some really cool ones. Sometimes I was jealous of them because sometimes their snoots look better than my snoots, you know? And that was really cool because it's like a whole new like fashion thing with Iggy, you know? And I love them. So it's really cool to see other people doing it. Thanks for watching. Bye, MTV.